in the import tab. So this example I'm going to import here, this is about 600 million points. I'm going to import it in uh, it'd be feet or meters. I'll tell it meters. So when I import that, you'll see how quickly that loaded. So that's 600 million points. And if I pan here and zoom into an area, you should see how quickly it uh, regenerates. And I'm just going to make my points a little bit bigger, just so it fills in some of the uh, the gaps. And so this is a jet stream point cloud, and you can see how quickly that regenerates itself. So this uh, was a mobile scan. So this is uh, Pegasus data uh, that was imported. So if you wanted to, let's say, draw some uh, white stripes here, if you go to your, your draw uh, tab, I'm just going to use a polyline, and I'm going to pick the start of the polyline right here. I'm going to give it a width. So I'm in meters, so usually 0.25 is a typical width of a white paint line. If you press spacebar, it repeats the command. And then if you wanted to save yourself a little bit of time here, instead of redrawing those, you could just use the copy command, pick your line, and then just paste them to where you need. So then if I hide the point cloud here, you see how quickly you can start drafting right on top of your point cloud. And inside your your templates, I'm going to do a zoom extents here and then zoom into that area where uh, we just drew the lines, which is down here. So here because um, if I was plotting this out, uh, they can't plot a white line on a uh, white piece of paper, so it's automatically drawing it in as a black line. But I could s switch my viewport to be in true color if I wanted to. I just have it set that it knows that it can't draw a white line on a uh, white sheet of paper. So you can see not only can you draw your your show your um, drawing line work on top of the point cloud, but you can also plot your point clouds uh, as part of your, your, your finished sketch uh, very easily. So we're almost, uh, I'm just going to show you one more thing here and then we'll open up open it up to questions. So last thing I want to show is, I'm going to open up this is another example here. So in this example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import uh, another Jetstream project. Actually, I'm going to do two, two more things here very quickly. So this is the Jetstream project where there's uh, aerial data, scan data, and MS-60 data all combined together. And then... So what I want to demonstrate here is if, if you I'm going to load, um, we call it Global Mapper. And this is, uh, I'm just going to give you an example here of using the hex IP imagery. So I think there, there is a good example of if you've got imagery in behind your data, it can kind of just fill in some of the gaps 